Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 3rd of April 2023. Thanks for joining me. I want to use the Universal Tarot today. Let me show you these cards. This is one of the original Rider Waite decks that's been adapted slightly. It's been kind of modernized. I really like this deck and I think the original Rider Waite, the Radiant Rider Waite and this Universal Tarot are the best ones to use if you're starting to learn the tarot. I'm just going to shuffle these a few times and then I'm going to choose three cards what, to see what the tarot wants you to be aware of here on Monday and what energy you'll be working with. So let's have a look. Okay. So let's see, the first card is the Knave of Wands looking very dashing there. And that's actually the, the Page of Wands. Wow. Okay. Usually they're kind of more teenagers. Then we have the Seven of Wands, which is a soldier plowing through all these obstacles, resilience, stamina, strength. Both of these men are on a mission. They each have a purpose. They're each holding a wand. That's the element of fire. And that is what I care about, what's important in my life and what I want to achieve. So these two are on a very similar mission. And as a team, they can really overcome obstacles and go a long way and make a lot of progress on their own personal missions. So the first message I'm getting is there may be someone who is who has similar goals and similar plans and if to, uh, to you and if you team up on this day you may be able to really help each other out and to overcome things that you may not have been able to overcome on your own finally we've got wow the empress the empress is the third card in the major arcana so this is the big theme of the day and this is about new beginnings, communication. The Empress, she's the person who gives life. Here we've got Venus, the planet of love, beauty, and creativity. And she's always surrounded by a beautiful, lush environment because everything she touches flourishes and thrives. She really is the epitome of the new beginning. And because she's the Empress, she infuses everything with love. So the message is that if you want to start something new, make it something that you love and adore. And the Empress will help you and be with you on that journey. And both of these men are pursuing something that they love. So the cards are saying that if you want to start something completely new that doesn't exist in the world just yet, that stems only from within what you're passionate about, what you really is important to you. So let's say that you want to create the world's first completely autonomous robot. That may be your dream, right? And the world is going to say, well, you know, the technology isn't quite there yet. Um, so basically, no. <laughs> so then if that's the real dream, that person will say, okay, I've heard the no, but this is my passion. I'm going to go look for investors, for example. I'm going to take the first seven no's from the investors and I'm just going to shrug those off. I'm going to go to another seven investors. And it's that resilience and it's that unwillingness to compromise that allows you to then make this new beginning. And you know what? It, it, let's say you, you have that, that experience and then you start the new business or the, the, the new venture that you're passionate about or the new plan to move or the new relationship or whatever it is. When you look back on it and you see how much you had to struggle to get there, you'll love it even more. You'll be even pr more proud of what you've done. Okay, so the Page of Wands is a court card. So this is someone who's very, very inexperienced. He knows he has a passion, but he really is just making the first steps to get going. He really has no experience. It's interesting that he's a, he's a more adult man in this deck and he's beautifully dressed. So obviously he's got some resources at his disposal. And because I'm using this deck today, the law of attraction is at work. Something made me choose it. The, the message is that you may not be as inexperienced as you think, you know. You may have transferable skills that you can use to make your current passion and dream a reality. 
there are resources that you have available that you may not even be aware of or may have have considered using and helping you make this dream a reality. And this card to me is saying that please don't underestimate your own ability to manifest your dream on this planet. The, the um, court cards can also appear as people in your life. So if he shows up and this is someone who really has a dream, you can believe that he's very passionate about this. So if you're um, listening to someone and he's kind of um, giving you his idea for like, I don't know, his future business or what his passion is, you can really believe that his heart is in the right place. Um, and second of all, if this appears in you, trust that desire. This isn't just a flash in the pan, some kind of hair-brained idea that's going to be here today and gone tomorrow. This is a burning desire that exists within you. Look at what you can do with it today. If you don't, then it'll just remind you in a few days or in a week or a month or years. It'll keep coming back because we have these desires in us for a reason. That's the way we make the amazing contribution to the planet that each person can make. Next, the Seven of Wands is a card that says never give up. You have a mission, and even if things are standing in your way, that doesn't mean that you're going to fail. It means that you can be innovative, you can use your creativity, Seven in numerology is the mining creativity, to find a way around this. Plus, we've got this knight here who's covered in armor. He's saying you can whack your sticks on me as much as you want. I don't feel it physically. I don't feel it emotionally. I'm just going to keep trotting along on my path and I'm tuning out everything else. So that sort of single mindedness, that single purpose that you've got that eliminates all other things is extreme. And sometimes it's required to give birth to something new. So you can do that on this day. But um, I would just, the warning I'm getting with that is just don't deliberately neglect other people or put things aside that need to be put aside that need to be dealt with just because your passion is all and everything and all encompassing today i think if you focus on your passion for the majority great you'll make great progress but spend a little bit of time like you know making sure that everything else is in order so it doesn't become a bigger problem later on and then distract you even more so finally, the Empress third card in the Major Arcana. Three is communication, new beginnings. It's a new beginning in terms of something that you love. The Empress is with you supporting that. And then this path opens up that you can now start to walk down. It's a completely new adventure. You don't know what's over the hill. And it's exciting and it's thrilling. And it's, it's life affirming. So if you have felt like, I don't have a life purpose. I'm just going through the motions here. I'm trying to pay the bills. I'm not passionate about anything. I wish I was. Look at that today. Meditate on it. Go out in nature. Do something exciting sports-wise. Something that gets you your that that kind of opens your mindset and see what appears because there's this fabulous, fabulous opportunity to start something new on your own. Number-wise, we've got a court card that counts as one. One and seven is eight. Eight and three is um, 11. And 11 is the master number of service in numerology. So you can really help out your life. And you can really help yourself out in terms of, I'm going to do the work to create and build the life that I want to live. We're in this very kind of roll up your sleeves and, and build your dream kind of, season here it's very much about you can do it you can do it you're a lot stronger than you think and you have a lot more to offer than you think that's what the cards are saying it's worth the effort it's worth the push wow okay so way to start the week lots of energy i hope you have a wonderful day if you'd like a personal reading with me please get in touch via my website it's gregoryscott.com on the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. And um, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have a fabulous day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.